Joan Halifax is a woman of deep wisdom. She is a Buddhist teacher. She is a Zen priest. Halifax is also a renowned anthropologist. Her work has touched countless lives. She has spent decades studying death and dying. She helps people navigate life's most challenging moments. Halifax founded the Upaya Zen Center. It is a place of learning and practice. The center is in Santa Fe, New Mexico. At Upaya, people explore compassion. They connect with their inner wisdom. They find peace in difficult times. Halifax's work is about facing our fears. It is about finding strength in vulnerability. Her teachings help us live wholeheartedly. They guide us to serve others with compassion. Halifax's book, Standing at the Edge, is a powerful guide. It helps us navigate uncertainty. It teaches us to live with courage and purpose. It is a must read for anyone seeking a meaningful life. Edge states are central to Halifax's teachings. These are states of being. They push us beyond our comfort zones. Edge states can be challenging. They can also be opportunities for growth. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff. You feel a mix of emotions. There's fear. There's also exhilaration. This is the essence of an edge state. It's where fear and courage meet. Halifax identifies five key edge states. They are altruism, empathy, integrity, respect, and engagement. Each state offers unique challenges. Each offers profound potential for growth. These states are not fixed destinations. They are fluid and dynamic. We move in and out of them constantly. Understanding these states helps us navigate life's complexities. Let's explore each edge state. We'll uncover its strengths and pitfalls. First is altruism. It is the selfless concern for others. It is the desire to help and serve. Altruism can lead to burnout if we're not careful. Next is empathy. It is the ability to understand others' feelings. It allows us to connect deeply. However, too much empathy can be overwhelming. We may lose sight of our own needs. Integrity is about living in alignment with our values. It means being honest and ethical. Yet, clinging rigidly to our beliefs can create division. We need to be open to different perspectives. Respect is valuing ourselves and others. It is treating everyone with dignity and kindness. However, respect without clear boundaries can lead to disrespect. We must honor our own worth. Finally, engagement is fully showing up in life. It is participating with passion and purpose, but over-engagement can lead to exhaustion. We need to create space for rest and renewal. Section four, navigating the edge mindfulness, compassion, and balance. Navigating edge states requires skill. We need tools to stay balanced. Mindfulness, self-compassion, and balance are essential. These practices help us stay grounded. They help us navigate challenges with grace. Mindfulness is paying attention to the present moment. We observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice helps us pause before reacting. It allows us to respond with more awareness. Self-compassion is treating ourselves with kindness. We offer ourselves the same care we'd give a loved one. This practice helps us navigate setbacks with resilience. It reminds us that we are worthy of love and support. Balance is about finding equilibrium. It is honoring our needs and the needs of others. This requires setting healthy boundaries. It means saying no when needed. Balance allows us to show up fully without burning out. Section five, the power of compassion and setting boundaries. Compassion is a central theme in Halifax's work. It's more than just feeling empathy. It's about taking action. It's about alleviating suffering. Compassion starts with ourselves. We practice self-compassion to cultivate inner strength. This allows us to extend compassion to others. We meet their suffering with kindness and understanding. Setting boundaries is crucial for compassionate living. Boundaries protect our well-being. They prevent us from overextending ourselves. Boundaries are not walls. They are fences that allow healthy connections to flourish. When we practice compassion with boundaries, we thrive. We can show up for others authentically. We can cultivate deeper, more meaningful relationships. Section six, living a meaningful life. The impact of Halifax's insights Joan Halifax's insights are invaluable. They offer a roadmap for navigating life's complexities. 
Her teachings help us find meaning and purpose. They guide us to live with courage and compassion. Standing at the edge can be daunting, but it's also where we discover our strength. It's where we find our capacity for love and growth. By embracing these edge states, we live more fully. Halifax's work is a call to action. It invites us to cultivate mindfulness. It encourages us to embrace compassion. It reminds us of our interconnectedness. Her teachings inspire us to create a better world. Let's move through the world with courage and kindness. Let's embrace the edges and live our lives to the fullest.